lucky miss! I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that? Boy? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear! You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! We all know who's gonna win this. Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Gebra? Interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Gebra. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got. You got syrup? Yeah! Syrup. Accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste it, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. 
Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. The cargo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Look, this is it. This is where Floyd is gonna meet us at strip club? Oh yeah. That guy like him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Damn. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Oh. That's what that meant. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taken over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin.
My boy Mike. Good to see you. Man, I can only help so much. There's a time when I gotta stick back and let them cope with a few brain cells they left with. I don't know if it's gay or not. I don't even know what muck it is. Damn, Wayne's getting that good shit. I wish I was in that bastard's place. Damn. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust, Brad, out of prison, and then, you know, happy. So how'd you come by this place anyway? Had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there are other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly uncles. Two hundred million? Sam, we will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Boom. Innocence Boulevard in East LS at a It's only 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So we're going to his airfield in Blaine County, coming back in his chopper. Shit. Shit. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if... You'll kill me before my genes do. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. T.L. We're coming up to the front of the bank. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. Seriously, man. A big job. Payment up front. What is it? Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was. Now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's going to be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. OK, I'm going to stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is 
a pretty shit part. And that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails, he's educated himself inside, and he'll be... You talk to Michael about it. I will, but I gotta talk to you too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, and then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. 13:30. We're an hour down. Two to go. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! <laughs> Mike's observations fit with your scheme so far, yeah. Be careful not to get too close to the prison! Look, dog, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? <coughs> anyway, if you want to hit the vault in a way that...
What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. In the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Mr. Fingers. What the fuck kind of name is that? Hey, so how you feeling about this? Feel pretty good. We got Lester planning it. He'll get us options. There's you, a guy I know I can depend on. And then there's Trevor. Ah, yeah, Trevor will get it done. Hey, will he? I hope so, man. I hope he holds it together. Hey, you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself, you feel me? Yeah, well... I ain't pissed off hillbillies, bikers, a Mexican gang, some Chinese gangsters, and a private army, okay? Well, there's that. Yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA, and your family, man. You know what, I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we're about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later. No! Oh. We'll talk, all right? Just later. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch.
I forgot about that. Trying to honk back, sound cool, fucking din 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 din. Hey man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. Mm -hmm. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you... You're a killer. You know? You are a man of action! You do not sit on couches, you take scores! You're back, man. We are back! Alright? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man! Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family! Yeah, well, I got nothing! No one gives a fuck about me! I do. Oh. Fuck you! I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something. All right, something I've been I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! Oh, he knows, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Starting to figure out. That's my car, you prick! Open. Fuck you! Hey, come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going, fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza, fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no, no, it's clear and reason thought! Finally! Stop your car, come on! Come back, we'll talk! I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. 
<laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, eyes! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davey. Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? The think. Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. Well, I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Voice是在。I Santos, start over. I made a deal. The slate will be totally wiped clean. Hey, everybody, pay attention. No one gets hurt. Trust me, darling. Look at me, Amanda. It was the only thing I could do. Either everyone dies or one guy gets out. I'm that guy. Slow and steady, team. Slow and steady. His name is Dave Norton. Nice guy, realist. He gets the glory, I get out. It's not even a decision. Amanda, I don't have a choice. Do you want to die here where it's always snowing? Or do you want to go and live where it's always sunny? All right, you want to live? Tell me you want to live. Work this out. out of town you don't need to know trust me nothing is gonna go wrong nothing yeah i hear you we gotta follow the plan everything will work out i did the deal amanda it's over baby we get out be happy be normal it ain't supposed to go down like this
We did it. Maybe we are home free. It's over. This is fucked, man. Today is long. Just this one job, and everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Oh, shit. I don't think I'm gonna like how this goes down. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? It happens in the dark. It comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there. This is it. Moment of truth. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look. We do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot, you saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did, that's, that's it. He didn't bleed. He didn't bleed when he got shot, Michael. Brad. There was a gunshot wound. Michael was wearing an armor plate. He had a bulletproof vest to stop the round that Dave Norton used. He sent the crew into a trap for them to get killed or in jail. He set them up. Damn. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you! Never a truer word has been spoken, brother! Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fuck! Oh shit!
got anything against you people! You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody said? I'm kind of torn. Because... Michael... <coughs> Michael tried his best for his family and to get him out of that. But in the same breath, he walked his crew into a trap. I don't know. It just, it just doesn't sit right. Huh. Ah, you live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you are clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly.
me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. The time together is very important. I'm sending one out right now. Much obliged. I need to get out of this hot fucking jacket.
Where do you want to go? Chamberlain Hills. I'll get you there fast, buddy. Mm, pick up the pace, buddy. I guess you're in a hurry. Patricia, Mrs. Madrazo. Trevor, oh, I miss you, all you boys. Miss you too. I, c I can't speak for the other boys. You're such good friends. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. Actually, Michael and I, yeah, not speaking. Old friendships cannot be replaced. Hey, how are you? Is Martin looking after you? He's here. I've got to go. Pedestrians gotta pay attention, man. This is a driving town. Hey, we're here. Mark Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still in team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. Fine. That's a long trip. He waiting at the garage. I'm above one of these. The boost, homie. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm yeah, thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Man, what you fuck with this ride for? So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one said, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, chill. Be careful. Line it up on the truck. Favorite gangbangers. There she is, homie. That's we straight. Boss man's happy. <laughs> then we'll get moving. And this old bust ass nigga ain't no ball. Enough, nigga. Get your ass right. in the truck. Let's go. Let's get the truck. Paletto Bay, Sonora Freeway. Hey, 
It's uh cozy in here. Hey, scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scoochin' in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling him? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man meat. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. Meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. camera fuck fucking your shoes for toes and twats Dude, the dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, this creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired from, from creeping? From everything. That's funny, because, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I used the term retirement euphemistically homie for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes you talk fruity it's unconfirmed what's unconfirmed the fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit <laughs> or where the other dudes at like maybe he's dead the last one. Oh, or shit man fuck do frank know about this i don't know if franklin knows but let's just let him sleep shit yeah bummer but you know he wasn't the good guy he made out. That dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. I will continue this mission in a bit. See you guys.